This is part 94 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery droppable widget. Let's understand this with an example. Here, we've got three boxes. Within the first box, we've got a list of countries and cities. What we want to do is, from the first box, we want to be able to drag and drop countries onto countries box and cities onto cities box. If I try to drop a country onto a city box or a city onto a country box that should not be allowed and the element should revert to its original position. So let's see how to achieve this. In the interest of time I have already typed the required HTML to produce this UI and here is that HTML. So here the first div element is going to produce the first box here and if you look at that div element notice that we are applying a style class div class and here is that style class. We have set the border to 3 pixels solid black, font size 25 pixels, background color light gray, width 250 pixels, padding 5 pixels, display style inline dash table. So this display style is going to render these three div elements side by side. Okay? And within that development, we have that literal text, countries and cities. And then we have got an unordered list. And within the unordered list, we have the countries and cities. The important thing to notice here is the data dash value attribute. For countries, the data dash value attribute is set to country. And for cities, it is set to city. And here we have the div for the second box. So the ID of that is div countries. And we have an unordered list there with ID countries. So this is going to produce the second box. And the third div for the third box. So within the third div, we have an unordered list with ID equals cities. OK, so that's the HTML. And we have another style class here, li. So basically, this style is applied to the list item. So we have set the font size to 20 pixels. So that's the HTML and styles. And I have the exact same HTML and styles here. And when we view the page in the browser, this is how it is rendered. Now we want to be able to drag these list items from the first box. So what I'm going to do is the ID of the unordered list within the first div is source. So within our jQuery ready function, I'm going to find that unordered list element. So the ID of that is source. And I'm going to make that draggable. So let's save the changes and let's reload this. So now these list items should be draggable. Look at this. When I make the unordered list draggable, that's the ID of the unordered list, right? So now I'm able to drag the entire unordered list. But that's not what we want. We actually want to be able to drag the list item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to be able to drag list items that are present within that element with that ID. So let's save the changes, reload this page. Now we should be able to drag and drop each list item. OK, now look at this. When we are dragging the item, we are actually dragging the original item. Now let's say instead of dragging the original item, we want to drag a copy of the item. So we want to leave the original item there and drag you know, the clone of that item. To achieve that, I'm going to use one of the options of this draggable widget, and that is helper. So the helper, the drag helper, should be a clone of the original item. That's what we are saying here. So let's save these changes. Let's reload this page. And look at this. Now when I drag, I'm actually, look at that, the original item is still there. I'm actually dragging a clone of that. All right. So now we want to make the list items that are present in the countries and cities boxes. That is this list item, I mean this unordered list and this unordered list droppable. So we want to be able to drop those list items, you know, onto those unordered list elements. OK, and they have got IDs for the countries unordered list. It is countries for cities. It is cities. So what I'm going to do here is make both of them droppable. So again, let's use the jQuery ID selector. So we want to find an item with ID countries. That is the unordered list, countries unordered list. And let's make that droppable. Similarly, I am going to do the same thing for the cities unordered list. OK? Now, 
when we drop an item what happens is an event is triggered and that is drop event and we want to handle that event so I'm going to specify this JavaScript object and we want to handle the drop event and this is the function that is going to be called when that event is triggered okay and this function is going to receive two parameters the event object itself and the UI element that triggered the event okay so this UI parameter has a property called draggable so this property is going to reference the item that we dragged and dropped okay so what do we want to do with that item we actually want to add it to the unordered list itself now look at this here we made the unordered list you know droppable but if you look at you know this box that is actually a div element we want that entire div element to be droppable in the sense when I drag and drop a country I should be able to do it on the div element I should be drop able to drop it anywhere on the div element and it should be appended to the unordered list that is present within that country's div element right so what I'm actually going to do is use the ID of the div element instead of the ID of the unordered list so I'm going to take this ID the ID of the div element and make that droppable so let's make the div element droppable and when the drop event is raised what we want to do is find the unordered list within that div element which has got an ID of countries and to that we want to append the item that we have just dropped and we want to do the same thing you know with this um, cities development so we actually want to make let's actually paste it here so here the ID of the unordered list is going to be cities and we want to make the cities div droppable so basically I'm going to copy the IDs of the city div and specify that here okay all right so let's go ahead and reload this okay look at this when I drag and drop I'm able to drag and drop countries onto the countries box let me drag and drop a city look at that I'm also able to drag and drop a city onto the countries box and if I drag and drop a country onto the cities box I'm able to do that but that's not what we want I should only be able to drag and drop countries onto the countries box and cities onto the cities box so there are elements which we want to reject okay and uh, those are nothing but cities the only elements that this countries box should accept is those elements which have got this data dash value attribute set to country so I have to tell it somehow and that is using accept option so this droppable widget has got another option accept and you know the cities box the cities development it should accept only the list items so this is a selector by the way so we can specify a selector here so accept only the list items which have data dash value attribute equals city okay and if you look at the HTML here for all the city list items data dash value attribute is set to city and similarly the countries div should accept only those list items where the data dash value attribute is set to country okay so let's go ahead and save our changes reload this page and look at this I'm able to drag and drop country it accepts that if I drag and drop a city onto countries look at that that's not allowed to be dropped there it immediately disappears so now onto the cities box I'm able to drop a city if I try to drag and drop a country look at that it immediately disappears instead of making that element immediately disappear if you want you know a an animation then you can specify the revert option on draggable so basically what we are doing here we are dragging and dropping an item if that is not the right choice for the drop destination then we want that element to slowly revert back to its original location instead of immediately disappearing like that so if you want to do that you can use the revert option of draggable widget 
So here I'm going to specify revert and what items do we want to revert? We want to revert invalid items. Okay, so let's go ahead and save the changes, reload this page, and look at this. When I drop a country, uh, a city onto the country, it slowly uh, reverts to original position. City is accepted. If I drag and drop a country onto city, look at that, it slowly reverts back. So here we have the HTML and CSS, and here we have the jQuery code that we just looked at. Thank you for listening and have a great day.